Six weeks after Australians voted to keep Scott Morrison as Prime Minister, politicians are arriving back in Canberra. I think it's fantastic that we're arriving back in Canberra and back in government because we have such a strong agenda. And there's one thing on everyone's mind, the government's income tax legislation. The Prime Minister is hoping to get it signed off by Parliament when it resumes this week. We went to the election with that promise and we expect it to go through. Uh, Australians are jack of the politics. Uh, they made their decision. Let us get on with the job. We put it up as one package. The Labor Party have heard what the Australian public have said. Labor are yet to say whether they will vote for the package in its entirety, but will discuss the issue at a shadow caucus meeting today. Mr Morrison has labelled Labor's threats to block the package as an act of belligerent arrogance, telling the Australian the coalition will use every parliamentary weapon available to ensure it passes. Parliament will consider them. We'll be having a debate on Tuesday night in the House of Representatives. Labor's prepared to facilitate a debate. Stage one is urgent. We can do better than that and get part of stage two into the system as well. The government appears on track to pass the three-stage plan with the help of Senate crossbenchers. Labor has indicated it might wait until the federal government strikes a deal before landing on a final position. We are the only party saying that every worker should get a tax cut in this term. The issue could come to a vote as early as Thursday. Before the government gets down to business, there will be plenty of pomp and ceremony to mark the start of the parliament. Danika DiGiorgio, Sky News.